Just so my single chats and toxic gamers, a ton of YouTubers are mad, Call of Duty players are mad, everybody's going off right now. Yay! You forgot? Because apparently there's a ton of drama happening over on Twitter and Charlie until is engaging, they're talking about it because, you know, two months ago, almost two months ago, Activision came out and they did say they're gonna talk about skill-based matchmaking! Yeah, they did say that, but apparently they did not talk about it. Yeah, and a lot of people are calling them out, and uh, I, I guess rightfully so. Guys, you don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe. Check this out, roll it. Right now, it looks like Modern Warfare 2. It looks like Kandor Hideout, or whatever the name of that map was back in that game. I'm using the Lockman submachine gun just because I'm trying to use more of the Modern Warfare 2 weapons to try uh -huh. to get a vibe for them here in Modern Warfare 3. But we're playing the war game mode, which combines three multiplayer maps, essentially into one giant mode. It's a mode that a lot of us kind of forgot even existed because they gave us one map at launch, they hyped yeah. it up, up and here we are all these months later and we still don't have a second war map it really yeah. doesn't make much sense whatsoever <laughs> but speaking of that right speaking of them saying they're gonna do something and then not doing it for a long period of time let's talk about activision because it is i mean who would have thought right let's let's be real one new map dog like that's absolutely pathetic and the only reason they get away with so much is that there isn't even any competition i made a video on all the best fps games and if you saw that you know nothing really nothing is really coming out though like it's it's genuinely sad bro the scene is currently dry. at the time of me recording this video 7 p.m eastern on january 14th as of right uh -huh. now the cleveland browns got knocked out of the playoffs yesterday the cowboys are surprisingly getting their asses kicked and over a month and a half ago activision said that they were going to be talking to us about skill-based matchmaking who remembers <laughs> this right here on november 30th they put oh out this entire God. post i don't want to read the entire thing out but just to yeah. quickly summarize the bottom there they basically said that it's so hard to talk about these things we need to think through if you're saying that it's so hard to talk about it you need some time you're literally telling us that you're gonna think of some bull squash way to come out with a PR statement that's that's just gonna be lies. It's been over a month and these seconds, how long you need? How long you need? We know that your algorithm, you play five games, motherfucker. Uh, I cannot say that word on the YouTube. Seconds know <laughs> how many kids you're gonna have. They know if you play five matches, they know how many kids you're gonna have. They know if you have a BBC or BWC or you got a BLC or B... Uh, BLC, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th th this algorithm is crazy, bro. It's a large effort that we've worked on for many years, and our approach combines latency, search time, and skill, along with many other factors to try to find the best match experience for you. Talking about this topic in detail can be hard, and we haven't spent the time to pull together all of our work to share with you our insights and improvements over the many years. We're looking forward to doing that in the coming weeks after Season 1 launches, and we'll also yeah. make it a part of our ongoing One month, my balls, bro. discussions with the community community signed the call of duty team they put that out over a month and a half ago saying that in the coming weeks after season one dropped which i think was on december 6th which means that we're over a month and a half since they mentioned that right there and we have not heard a word from activision we're well magically gonna hear about it when call of duty 2024 is near its marketing not the release date no 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 Bruh. when they are hyping the next call of duty game up that's when these like is gonna be like yeah let's kill this match when here you go and we're gonna make sure the next Call of Duty game doesn't have the same level of skill based matchmaking. But you and I know it's gonna be bull squash. Let's be real, bro. One way or the other, they have not discussed a single thing about skill based matchmaking, despite that entire they statement, forgot. despite them saying they want to make it part of their ongoing discussion with the community. Yeah. No, we have not heard a word. We have not heard a peep from Activision or <laughs> Sledgehammer Games for that matter, which this may be the typical Sledgehammer vacation period. I'm not entirely yeah. sure. If you guys remember back. I mean, every Every day is vacation for these seconds, right? Because uh, didn't Bobby Kotick left, left? Yeah, he left out not long ago. Oh, you didn't know. I mean, come on, man. Guys, get in with the news, bro. Get yourself in the loops, bro. What you doing, bro? The only thing I know you know about is obviously not this, guys. Wait for it. It is friendly. I guess this is the only thing everybody's aware of. But yeah, Bobby Kotick left. And a lot of people were like, okay, when Bobby Kotick is going to leave, that's when this thing is going to talk about skill based matching. He left. It's been weeks. It's been weeks. It's been weeks. And you're saying, dog, we, it's been two weeks. 
Oh shit! Since 2024 started, it's already been two weeks. These seconds haven't even talked about it. <laughs> any content. No, nah, bro. Like these seconds are not on vacation, bro. If these seconds are on vacay, bro, then I need my ass to the Maldives right now, bro. Back to COD Vanguard. Around like late December, early January, we did not hear a peep out of Sledgehammer Games. They were basically all on vacation, and as such, yeah. the game was They're a freaking mess. Remember the riot shield glitches? Remember how shipment was basically on fire for like two months there during Call of Duty Vanguard? It was so crazy when you played shipment in that game that you could throw enough fire on the map and have it sit on the map for long enough that there eventually would be too much fire and it would crash the server. Yes, yeah. Sledgehammer said nothing they, they did nothing. nothing i mean right now the vortex game i mean what are you talking about right these are the same suckers that that had a hard time putting a pausing feature in a call of duty zombies mode can you believe it guys a pausing button you know this button let me actually do a tutorial right now you see this is a controller right you know the second controller you, this is the pausing button right you click on it and you boom pause Bruh. the game you can pause the game by clicking this button. In every game, this button works. In every, you click it, you click it, click it, it works. In Call of Duty Zombies, however, it does not work, guys. It does not work. Bruh. What are we talking about, bro? What are we talking about? Game mode is still here? out. That free-for-all game mode on the remixed maps with the ray gun. Well, that game mode's been out for a couple weeks now, something like that, and they have yeah. still not fixed it so that perks actually work within the game mode. You have to like do a workaround glitch by selecting your class twice in a row to make your perks actually work. Like It definitely seems like right now, Sledgehammer is on their vacation, and as such, Modern Warfare 3 is just not getting any updates, not really hearing too many new things. Soon, it's going to be a couple of months. Things we do have seen Season 1 Reloaded coming out, which will probably yeah. be around the end of their vacation. But still, it's been over a month and a half since they said they were going to talk about skill-based matchmaking. Yo, these devs are always on VK now. Listen, as a brown man, I totally think everybody deserves to have VKs, though, okay? Bruh. Everybody deserves to have VKs. But when your game is broken, when you have robbed your customers, when you have literally sucked your <laughs> sucked your fans' wallets dry, when your game's not working, you are still taking long ass vacation. Now I'm a believer of every yeah everybody right like all of you watching as well. Uh, uh, Y'all deserve to get like more than two pennies, bruh. bruh. I hope every, whenever you walk outside, you find like two, three, four, five, ten, twenty benches on the floor. I I wanna bless you up real bruh. quick. And, and no, I'm not gonna ask you to smash like either. I'm not gonna do it. You don't have to like or subscribe. I'm just blessing you right now, okay? <laughs> But 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 the situation here is this. I'm a okay. Seriously, on a real though, everybody deserves to get vacations. But dog, like, how many vacations you guys need? Like two. It's been two months, bro. Like, come on, bro. Making and they're gonna make it part of their ongoing discussions with the community, and that never ended up happening and i'm honestly starting to wonder if it's ever going to happen in the first place because around Probably during not. the launch of modern warfare 3 you guys may remember they did a couple yeah. of these community yeah. things right they did yeah. a community q a over on reddit they didn't ask me anything and in there they ignored every single question about skill-based matchmaking a couple of the sledgehammer devs win they live streamed with a couple of different content creators out there oh, but those content creators oh, told no. the community after the entire event happened that going into the interview that they had they were told directly from Activision PR that they were not allowed to ask anything about skill-based matchmaking. And also, on a real though, didn't these suckers said that during Modern Warfare 2022 uh, uh, as well, didn't these suckers said that during Modern Warfare 2022 and even like um, Modern Warfare 3 right before the game came out, they talked about the, the, the disbanding lobbies. Yeah, the disbanding lobbies. Oh, they said that they're gonna do something about the disbanding lobbies. They did say that, and nothing was ever done. They forgot. They peaced out, and looks like they're gonna peace out. Right? They're gonna peace out right now too. Like for they years, out, it's fact. always been like this hidden monster in the background, like this boogeyman that's pulling all the strings from the darkness. And Activision always refused to talk about it. They never wanted to acknowledge that it existed. And then out of nowhere, on November thirtieth, they're like, they "Hey, did, yeah. we know there's a lot of questions about yeah. skill-based matchmaking. So how about we talk to you guys about it?" And then <laughs> they never acknowledged it ever again. Like. It just I honestly believe that on November the 30th, they must have seen like a huge plummet in their players count, a huge dip in the dollars they were making, and they were like, oh my god, <laughs> we, gotta, we, we, we gotta talk about the skill-based matching, we gotta, we gotta talk about skill-based matching, and they did, and I, I guess like everybody jumped on the game. <laughs> 
and then they were like, okay, bro, we, we up, you know, we, we up, we ain't gonna talk about it, man, I swear to God, in Urdu, man, yaar, kutte de ho, bache ho, tu si, it pain, so, yaar, kya kar, itna satya, satya naas ho gaya, beda tadak jata da, pain, so, it's so weird, you know what I mean? Like, they never acknowledged it ever. They refused to, and people have been talking about it since, like, 2014. Like, literally a yeah. decade, people have been talking about skill-based matchmaking in some... But to be honest, though, back then, it didn't feel that bad, to be... Uh, yeah, it, it was as though... We thought, uh, we seriously thought skill-based matchmaking didn't exist, because even if it existed or not, that's not the question, the uh, or the answer, or question, whatever. But, but the, re the reality here is this. Back then, we didn't even feel any effects of the skill-based matchmaking. That's a good system, because the devs are saying skill-based matchmaking was also in uh, Black Ops 2. I didn't feel any skill-based matchmaking in Black Ops 2. People didn't feel that way either. That means your system for or whatever skill-based matchmaking you, you were using at that time was actually good, because players were loving your game. They were enjoying the game, and nobody felt the, this way where you are literally trying to bull squash your way through and putting so much so much all so much emphasis on this algorithm where you play five games guys i'm not even joking come on man like i know we're joking and stuff like that but but, but you get the point right you play five games and these seconds know if you're gonna be able to continue your bloodline or not the the algorithm is so bad to the point it's it knows whether your girl is prago or not before she even finds out you don't even know your girl doesn't even know but activision knows that your girl is prago just because of you playing five matches bruh capacity they never acknowledged it and then randomly they're like hey by the way it does exist we're gonna talk to you about it and then they went radio silent ever since they, then like they peace out. They what forgot. is happening right here man what is actually happening the big problem i think overall is i think they've kind of dug themselves in the hole i think it probably would have been better for them if they never acknowledged it whatsoever because sure people like myself are still gonna bitch about it and still bring it up in videos and stuff but in general they've kind of done pretty well just by ignoring skill-based matchmaking but now mm -hmm. that they poked the hornet's now by saying yeah. that yes it does exist and we're going to talk to you about it yeah they they really did finger in our buttholes uh right. and, and and now they are like I, I did not do it we did not do that you are just imagining it and now nah, bro you did finger us you better release you better release the algorithm bro you better release in fact not just release it but remove it bruh enough is enough man guys we must stay together we must Stay focused. In the words of the homie who we once said, We must stay focused, brothers. We must we stay must focused. We must be united. As a brown man, I demand Call of Duty games to become free because the game's quality is worse than a free-to-play game. Let's be real. As a brown man, I demand PlayStation, Xbox, both of them uh, services, uh, online services to be free. As a brown man, I demand skill-based management to be completely uh, removed from the game. As a brown man, I demand Call of Duty to become good. Uh, and, uh, and then not making these $20, $30 bundles, these BBC bundles. Now, nah, forget about that, man. Miss me with that, bro. Miss me with that, bro. Now we're all just waited with bated breath here, just going, what the hell is happening? Are you eventually going to say something? And when you... Hey, yo, what the heck happened? What the hell happened? Did my boy just... Oh, they poked the hornet's nest by saying that, yes, it does exist, and we're going to talk to you about it. Now we're all just waited with bated breath here, just going, what the <laughs> hell is happening? Are you eventually going to... Yo, literally, they literally fingered the homie. They were literally kick, kick, kick the homie. Say something, the and balls, when you bro. do say something... Is it going to be a bunch of PR nonsense? That's Activision doing that uh, to all of us right now. Or will they actually get into the thick of things and explain why the system is the way that it is from their perspective? Because Probably ultimately, not. I don't think they're ever going to come out and say, oh yeah, so we're just going to combine your score times your win-loss ratio times how fast you move and how often you move throughout the map. Like They're not going to give us the equations. Yep. They're not going to give us the algorithm for skill-based matchmaking. That was never going to happen. What I want to hear from the horse's mouth, from Activision... To, to be honest, in a way... They, they have revealed how the algorithm works in a pattern. Like we talked, we covered the patterns, right? Uh, and, and we had that video, which I will link you in just a little bit. It's gonna blow your mind. There were, in the pattern, it also did talk about the sweat. It detects your sweat. Oh shit, oh shit. Your facial uh, features as well. If you have cameras installed, obviously, some most of you probably don't, but they have that in the pattern. And you guys gotta think this way, right? Not everything in the pattern, uh, I'm gonna be honest, uh, just be more realistic as well. Uh, not everything that is mentioned in the pattern, it doesn't mean that it is in the game currently. It doesn't mean that it's gonna be, but it just means that they thought about it and they have 
they want to materialize at some point and they have it on the patent so if they decide to do something like that in the future they are gonna be able to because these companies are not thinking about now or two years from now they are literally thinking decades from now so you don't you don't know i don't know maybe playstation 20 when that comes out it's gonna have a built-in camera which you cannot remove and maybe when we have at the time right now you're like oh hell now nah, i'm gonna put that my, my black tape on that i'm gonna tape my camera out i will remove that i will shove it out of there i will throw that i'm not even gonna buy so therefore i'm not even gonna have to worry about any of that yeah, yeah most of you're gonna say that this is why you know connect with xbox 360 flop but you gotta understand that in the future you, you don't know man you just don't know what time period we might be in and maybe that will become normal so they, they're just making sure that in the future they can do stuff like that which and i'll link you that video in a bit okay activision and now subsequently from microsoft and all the umbrella studios like infinity ward sledgehammer and treyarch what I would like to hear, and I'm sure many of you guys as well, is why does skill-based matchmaking exist in its current capacity? Why do they think it's good? And do they have data to back up why it's good? That's always been the argument for so many people saying that, you know, skill-based matchmaking obviously has to be good. Otherwise, they would not be doing it. At the end yeah. of the day, they can say that they love games. They have a passion and this, that, and the other. But ultimately, Call of Duty is a business. They are here yeah. to make money. And for some reason, from their perspective anyway, it seems like skill-based matchmaking is making them more money than if they did not have skill-based matchmaking yeah. which you know if that's true i would like for them to explain why because most other studios out there will straight up say oh yeah you know we have skill-based matchmaking and this is the reason why other studios will say okay we're yeah i can think of x defined right now they they, they did actually right which is and put bots into our multiplayer experience or our battle royale experience and here is going to be the reason why Activision is completely silent on all of that. They've never acknowledged it. And from the player perspective, from my own perspective, and I'm sure many of you guys out there as well, it seems like skill-based matchmaking does more damage than good. I just refuse to believe in 2024 that they're secretly- Especially with like Modern Warfare 3 sales and the way it's being receiving online. I mean, bro, like so many OG YouTubers have just left the scene. Call of Duty views have plummeted on YouTube as well. There, there's a reason. Now, I'm not sure. Like views going down, uh, it, it doesn't mean the game is bad or good. It just means that the the interest is low. But we really live in an algorithm setting. We really live in a time where algorithm AI controls everything you see, at least on social media. And soon enough, uh, I mean, we the, the phone you hold is a computer. It's an algorithm. It, it shows you news. It shows you stuff first that you like on every social media that you're gonna hop on. Even now, it's gonna show you the type of videos you're gonna see the type of content you're gonna see is either gonna be it's to get your emotional response and to satisfy you but also to keep you in the rabbit hole longer it doesn't care whether you get mad it cares about whether you come back or not that's its entire job it just want to get you in in the system it want to get you in the rabbit hole it doesn't care if you're having a risk or emotional response then uh, sure it's going to show you that more often even if you click do not uh, recommend or not interested it doesn't care maybe for temporarily it's going to be like okay yeah sure not going to show you not going to show you but if it sees that you keep on watching the same damn videos it's gonna show you that same content again maybe not the time at that time when you click don't recommend but the the the, the sad reality is that right now the the viewership is down for call of duty player numbers are down for for call of duty as well so i would like to believe that all this algorithm that they have skill based matching is not helping the game it's it really isn't but maybe they're saying something else uh, and, and i would also like to make this argument that these seconds are making their bundles cost like 30 dollars right now 30 dollars oh, at least not every i think I, I haven't been into the microtransaction shop but there was a whole lot of drama about it they are increasing the prices of their bundles so i would like to believe the reason they're doing it is because player base is going down and they need more wheels to buy expensive crap so they make a lot more profit you, you know what i mean this entire community of hundreds of millions of players that are just like terrible and that the people that talk about skill based matchmaking we are just the minority we are just like this tiny little group of people yeah. online that are tired of how COD has evolved over time like yeah. I just don't see that actually happening I refuse to believe there's that many people that are just dog shit at video games that like they need to have this protected bracket and that they're all playing in this weird ass protected bracket all the time it definitely seems like they are the, more the outlier right if you look at mm -hmm. it from a bell curve 
perspective, it seems like the really, really terrible players are going to be there on the left side, like the really, really bad ones that probably do need to be protected from skill-based matchmaking. And then on the far right side there, you have the super amazing players, like your actual pro players, but then everybody else, I would say, is in between there, right? Like around like a 1 KD up to yeah. a 1.5 KD even. Like I feel like that's the vast majority of players. Honestly, I would say they used to have a system, and I believe X Define is doing that for the first few levels. Call of Duty used to have a Call of Duty bootcamp for the first 10 levels. Make it 25. Hell, make it even rank 30. And for the love of God, bring prestigious back. It's not fun to play the game where your level stops at 50 or 55, whatever, and then you gotta wait a couple of months before you can get the seasonal ranks and resets. It's just, come on, man. It, it bring the prestige system back. And hell, make it so for the first 50 ranks. I'm gonna be crazy with this. For the first 50 ranks, you have skill-based matchmaking, but then once you have played through the 50 ranks, you don't have skill-based matchmaking. You have skill-based matchmaking in rank play, but public after rank 50, hell no! Nah, you get out of the skill-based matchmaking lobbies, and I, I would like to believe that after going through 50 levels, you would be able to play. Guys, click on this video on the screen because this recently just happened. I'm not sure what's happening with this franchise, guys. A massive streamer got caught cheating with his pants down. Click on it, and I'll see you right there.